Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to model bevel gears in SketchUp. So the first thing you're going to have to do is get a sketch of a gear. Now you could make one yourself. You can trace a picture offline or you can do what I did and went online to a gear generator and just got the gear dimensions from there. So after that, you're going to center the gear with the origin of the file. Then you're going to extrude it up to the dimensions you want. So after that, you're going to find where the model intersects with the axes and you're going to go a 45 degree up, just like how I'm doing it here. Then the next step is to shrink the top face and only the top face so that the edges line up with the construction lines just built. Now you could stop your modeling here and it will work, but I want to make it look nice. So I'm going to try to bevel the bottom so you have a 45 degree angle on bottom. So they line up with the perpendicular gear. And how you want to do that is you want to have to make a triangle on the edge after you make the main gear a component. And while using the follow me tool, you want to have to make it into kind of a cone shape. And after that, you're going to intersect the faces and delete the lines you don't need. So before you intersect the faces, you're going to want to turn the softness down on the model. This will just make it easier for the two models to intersect. And then you're going to delete the lines you don't need. So here we have the gear all set up. As you can see, the 45 degree bevel on bottom. And now what we want to do is do a similar bevel, but on the top face instead. So you're just going to do the same steps as before, as in make the triangle, rotate it around the central circle, intersect faces, then delete the lines Okay, and here we have the gear all finished. Right now, I'm trying to set up a gear perpendicular to the first gear, so I can show you how the two will work together. And now I'm just lining them up. So there you have it, the model's all finished, and now the gears should mesh properly when they're at 90 degrees from each other. Okay, so now I'll just 3D print them and show you what I got. So here we have the gears fully printed. As you can see, they mesh pretty good when they're at 90 degrees from each other. And I put custom holes on each gear so one of them can fit on the motor and one of them can attach to another axle. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out the other videos on this channel and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye.